Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this one's gonna be a fun little video. If you remember, uh, in the last one, we cleaned out, finished cleaning out the pool room, and we put some new carpets in there, and we had a fun, a fun idea planned. And it's a very fun idea. Something that we've been wanting to do for a long time, and we decided, why not? We got a little bit of room, we're gonna do it. Now a few of you are gonna roll your eyes, and a few of you are gonna to wanna to come over. Yes, you can come over. Check this out. Right. What the hell, baby? Rip, what'd you do with it? Gotcha. I gotcha. Ah, oh, there you go. Much better. What'd you do with it? <laughs> All right, so there she is. Look at that. So she's 24 inches in height, um, eight foot width, very sturdy. Very but, sturdy. But you'll see that. Um, so what do you think? I think she's amazing. Yeah, you think? Glad we did this. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. But I'm guessing that this is kind of the end of the story. So let's take you guys back to the beginning. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, well, we're all done. Uh, what do you want to do with the room now? I don't know. You got any other ideas? Well, we plan on doing the pool table, but that's a pretty big project. It's going to be a little long. It's going to be a long time in the coming, I think. Yeah, we can't do that right now. No, not for a while. So it's pretty much going to be an empty room. Mm -hmm. You know what we could do? What's that? Could build a skate ramp to put it in that back corner. That's a good idea. It would be pretty cool. That <laughs> would be very cool. You know I'm kidding, right? Why? I think it's a great idea. Do you think it's a good idea? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. Well, I'll start designing it then. Sweet. We're going to build a ramp. So now that we have all the wood purchased, what Alan is doing here is setting up the chop saw. So that way, every time we put a board up against that wall, then the piece can be cut at the exact same length every time. We'll see how well this works. Um, so, in case you didn't catch it up to this point, what we did was is um, getting some plans off the net in order to be able to draw out the transition. Lay two sheets of four by eight side by side, uh, three quarter inch. You measure up designated point. This is what one foot seven, and then five six. Screw in um, this guy here as a pivot point and. What it'll allow us to do, Ooh, watch your knees. Oh, if you hold go on. down there, get my bright, my bright box door pencil. <laughs> Put it in that hole. And this will allow us to draw out our transition. There's our transition. This guy's only gonna be two foot tall. This is not right. That's not right. That's not right. Did I go in the wrong direction? No. 
Well, let's see. That should be about 26 inches there. About 26 yep. inches. So that is correct. Aha! You did good. Look, Mom, it's a skate ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now that we have the first piece cut out, we are going to use this piece as a template for all the other pieces by flipping it over and tracing it onto the other side of the board. So as you can see, this board right here, this 2x4 right here, and this 2x4 right here need to be cut. So we're going to break out the table saw and we're going to rip the boards so that way they can fit nice and even underneath our ramp. And now it's time for assembly. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. So it's next day. Uh, we've been kind of at it for a little bit already. There was a few little things that we had to kind of touch up that took a little bit of time. We've got the ramps placed about where we want and spaced, you know, from the walls. The thing that's gonna that's gonna happen a little bit in the next couple of days is we're going to set her gaming station up over in this other corner. And in order to do that, we had to rerun the Cat5 cable, which meant poor Helen had to <laughs> crawl up under the house and drag it from back here where it was up under the, the ramp over to where her setup's going to be, um, hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, in the mean by, meantime, we're going to, we like where it's at, and we're going to go ahead and start constructing the flat. And what we're gonna do in an effort to kind of minimize the height, I did stand these bottom beams up. We, we've laid them flat and we're going to do them flat to create the flat. Uh, we're going to cut the pieces here on the ends. And we're going to pocket hole it on each side and then we're going to run two ver uh, 
I guess, legs through the center and pocket hole those. That'll allow us to, to shimmy them just a little bit so that when we start laying the plywood, the four foot mark should sit right about here. So it'll allow us to place it at the four foot mark on either side, which will make for a solid trans, you know, transition from one piece of plywood to the next. So next step is to go out and start cutting them up, uh, pocket holing them and getting them put in. So let's do it. Here she is. It's absolutely amazing and it feels so surreal to have a skate ramp in our pool room. It is awesome. We've been having so much fun. We have. It's, it's, it's been a blast. And it was a joke when I first suggested it, but we got this room cleaned out and you know, we did, we mentioned rebuilding the pool table, but I mean, that's a big part. That is a big project. It's a big project. Uh, it's got to get unburied and then designed and et cetera, et cetera. Um, 
another of the, of the true factors for cleaning out this room is because we live in Florida and now is it's super hot in our garage I mean we're we're it's in it's in good process but it's too hot to be making videos out there and this is a big room so even with this guy uh, we still have plenty of space to be able to do some videos and I mean we're not gonna obviously be running saws in here but we can do some fun stuff and not be dying in the Florida heat. We've always wanted to build a ramp outside, but in the Florida weather, it's raining every day. And, and, and one, of our, one of our long-term goals is to have what we call the complex, which is our home, a big photo studio, uh, and a general warehouse, I guess you could say. Warehouse. And it's always been my goal to have kind of like a little miniature private skate park uh, in that little warehouse. I mean, we have the skills to build it. It's just all about material at that point. So building it inside is kind of a first step towards first step towards that. Why do the outside thing? You people do the outside thing. Be jealous of us because we did the inside <laughs> thing. So we strongly recommend you oh, yeah. building a skate ramp of your own. If you have enough room, it is just That's super awesome. fun. It is really awesome, guys. So thank you so much for watching the video. We really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you like what you see. And we'll see you in the next video. See you. Same exact length every time. The job's on, not a table's on. What? Oh my God just amazing it seems so surreal still can't believe it it's kind of surreal but see it feels so surreal awesome it feels so surreal to have it is so surreal to have it's just so surreal it's really surreal to have uh, this is very cool having this in here it's very cool i would almost say surreal almost surreal <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> that was really too much stuff.